Hi, I'm Asia Sheravino and welcome to Arts. Unfortunately for some, being invited to an opera may instill a bit of fear. Opera Piccola of San Antonio challenges those fears by producing high quality productions in intimate settings, making opera both accessible and affordable. Let's take a look. Everyone in the house, please. Thank you. I think people get scared about opera because it feels distant sometimes and the stories sometimes are really slow. And I think people are also a little intimidated by the expense and also by, I think the, you know, opera originally was, the word opera means the work. And, uh, and at a point in time, you know, opera was like, you know, going to a baseball game. It's what everybody did. You know, and unfortunately, um, it's become sort of the, the plaything of the rich. And I think that part of why we exist is to break that, break that mold. So, you know, coming to an opera and experiencing beautiful music and beautiful sung music in a gorgeous setting um, reminds us, I think, of our humanity. Uh, all of these stories really speak to us in a, in a kind of way that only text married to music can do. We are excited at Opera Piccola to be in our third season and our second here at the Historic Empire Theatre and presenting this incredible work of Dido and Aeneas by Henry Purcell. Um, we are San Antonio's homegrown opera company. We are your local artists performing for you, local people. Most of our cast is from right here in San Antonio. We are knit deeply into the fabric of this community here in San Antonio. I think the, the easiest way to, um, to make sure that there is a next generation of opera artists and opera audiences is to make this kind of work accessible, to present it in a location that's not enormous and distant so that the, the audience members can get caught up in the magic of, of an opera story. Um, and also that the ticket price is something that people can actually afford, you know. It, it's uh, a movie ticket these days is 10 or 12 dollars and so really the least expensive ticket that we have is almost the same amount of money um, and again too that's just to make sure that there is an accessibility for everybody to come and enjoy it and the thing that's great is that Dido and Aeneas is a perfect first opera to, to bring your children to the opera itself is only one hour so it's a, a smaller work um, it's set in this gorgeous theater and it's sung in English, so there's something for everyone in this kind of delicious, delicious evening. My role is the character of Aeneas. Uh, he is the uh, son of a god. He has uh, been exiled to the island of Carthage where he meets Dido, the other principal character. Dido is a widow and she has sworn that she will never love again. But of course, the minute she says that, the handsome Aeneas arrives, fresh from the Trojan Wars, and he is in love with her and he begs and begs and begs and she's like no no I can't possibly and then of course he wins her over and they're very happy together but there's this evil sorceress it's like Mean Girls there's this evil sorceress and her minions who are plotting against Dido and they disguise one of their elves as Mercury and who tells Aeneas that he must quickly get on his ship and go to Rome and he leaves poor Dido behind and I won't give away the end the need for us as a culture, as, as, as human beings, to come together and listen to a story is a very uh, instinctual thing for us to do. And opera is just one of the many ways that we can, we can do it. The show runs at the Empire Theater Saturday night, February 21st at 8 p.m. and then again on Sunday, February 22nd at 2.30 p.m.